I'm Bill Rushing. I'm a uh, sales agronomist for Armor Seed Company, and my territory is more central Arkansas. I wanted to spend our time today talking about corn. We're on the date of 423, so some of this corn we're going to look at today is going to be at least 24, 28 days old. And we've had a lot of different weather show up this year. We're actually on a line that splits us just about seven miles to the north of me that a lot of rains occurred that way, not as much this way. We've got more crop planted toward the south. Temps today, we're at 55 degrees. Wind's blowing pretty good. Uh, not a common day for this time of the year. Usually we're hot, usually we're, we're really taking off on our growth and it's just been a little bit slower progress this, this, this year. One of the things I want to go over is, is stage of growth on corn, and, uh, and there's two methods. Um, and the insurance company would use a method called a droopy leaf, and you know I, I seem to use that one probably more than the rest because a lot of times we could get, say, some damage on the corn, more or less uh, green snap, things of that sort. And using this droopy leaf method, that kind of helps me determine where we're at on our stage of growth. Um, collar methods, the other method we could use, but but knowing the droopy leaf part, your first leaf, and I don't know looking at it like this, the first leaf as it comes out, when it starts rounding its tip, you would consider that the first leaf. And then whenever you look at the, the others, as they droop, as they kind of point downward, you would consider those a, uh, a defined leaf. So this would be one, two, three, four. So we would be at V4 corn right here. And, uh, and if we go with a collar method, all we're really doing is we're just looking for the collar, just the band around it where those leaves are, are put together. So those two methods are, are the most common used in my, my part of the world. And we use that for many things. We use it to know when our herbicide, our plant may be too big for herbicide applications of, of certain chemistries. And then we'll also use it for our nitrogen rates. So there's a lot of things that's got to be done. A lot of things get determined in this plant at this stage that we're in right now. So we don't want, even though the weather's been kind of uh, challenging, we don't want to get behind on where we're at. This, this particular field we're in, we're in Cotton Plant, Arkansas, and, and this is, uh, it's probably the most aggressive corn on stage wise that I've got right now, but uh, you know, weather patterns, we're trying to get our herbicide on here, we're trying to get our fertilize on here. We're gonna have uh, 275 pounds of urea put on it. We'll have it done at this stage of growth. And then the only follow-up nitrogen past this would be 100 pounds at, at, at pre-tassel.